Hello and welcome to another G.I. Joe Classified series review. I think I found another use for one of these bodies. He's got a very basic, almost fully black, not quite, a little bit grey, uh, basic body underneath all of this gear, and the gear I can use for something else as well. So yeah, already taking the tape off underneath. When you open the box there is a little bit of warning paper underneath, uh, legal stuff that flies out. And unlike the other one, the uh, base is actually attached here and doesn't fall out. So 60 anniversary hook, uh, quick look at the back, hey, you can change attachments and stuff. And yeah, very glad that you know, very comes with a stand. So apart from the uh, fists, oh, oh, apart from the regular hands already on the figure, there are no extra hands and there's no extra color hands this time because it's fully gloved, so they don't need to do that for, you know, both white and black skin. So we've got the alternative heads there. And the heads are also done really nicely. He's got a, I guess it's a silent pistol. Yep, the silencer can be removed. Machine gun with removable clip. Tiny painted knife. Painted harpoon gun. Little, I guessing it's like a oxygen reader. Oxygen mass. Ah, that's where it goes on. Yeah. So you can do that. I don't know why it's separate in separate pieces, but there you go. And there's a little peg there that can peg into the chest armor. We have some dog tags, which I think are darker color, and also slightly smaller than the ones on the other set. A pack of bottles, not painted. Flippers that are actually soft and rubbery, and there's a hole in there so you can still put this on the figure stand once you wear them. A underwater floating machine, scuba gear set. Oop, that separates. Does anything else separate? No. Does the fan inside move? Can't reach it, but... Oh, it does. It does rotate. <laughs> Figure, it's got a backpack. Oxygen backpack. Tiny printed details there too. You can remove this little bubble piece from the head. Oh, well, you can remove the head. And then, yeah, we have a, a gun holder, extra pouch. We have a knife holder, gun holders, extra pouch, got a watch thing, some hooks on the back for something, maybe the harpoon gun. He's got a holder on the front for, for the uh, oxygen tank attachment. Pretty good. Articulation, he's on the standard body and all the other arm pieces are very soft material, double neck joint, but he can't look far that much, huh? It's quite far up, sideways, sideways, for rotation. Uh, back and forward on the uh, shoulder there, rotating joint. Rotating joint here, arm goes... Ooh, that's stiff. Double elbow joint, hands are on a single swiveling peg. That's unfortunate, I believe. The tummy joint is not really working because of all the armor that's in the way, but you can still look quite far back and forward. Rotation, tilting, legs have Full rotation here, and you just gotta hold the accessory and so it doesn't move with it. Ball peg, knees, double knee joint, no toe joints. So how well does this fit into the swimming shoes? Oh that's that goes in so easily. There he is, I've attached every single accessory I can to the figure. Uh, he's wearing the flippers, he's holding on to the uh, scooper gear, the, the underwater thing, the backpacks on him. The uh, harpoon gun is attached to the back of his belt. A uh, gun there, silencer there, and uh, you know, mask, helmet, everything, uh, machine gun, and the extra head is uh, hooked onto the uh, harpoon gun. <coughs> very versatile figure. Uh, some of the bits are a little bit loose. This front panel there is very loose, and the harpoon gun does come up quite easily as well during posing. Otherwise, it is pretty cool that you got lots of customization that you can do as well as if you know, combine this with other G.I. Joe's or the other 60th 
anniversary soldier infantry or whatever you've got a lot of customization that you can do with these figures and they're very easy to swap parts as for the uh, armor and, and bits on the legs and stuff um i found that if i put this these figures into the uh boiling water uh the joints and stuff can be removed quite easily although be careful with the shoulder joint there's a, a round piece inside that's quite hard to push back into the slots after you remove it in theory if you pull the arm out straight like 45 degrees or 90 degrees just flat away from the shoulder you should be able to avoid pulling the other piece out along with it but uh, that can happen it's a little bit of a pain to push back in but otherwise pretty cool figure subscribe to the comment below take care of a nice day i'll see you guys soon bye bye now